Good morning. Happy Friday. It's kind of odd that with all of these peaceful protests going on, that mayors and council members seem to get upset when the peaceful protests move to the mayor or town councilman's house. I'm never a fan of protesting at someone's house, but considering how it's not an issue when these peaceful protesters are peacefully protesting at other people's houses and in other people's neighborhoods, it's not a problem. But when they come to a mayor's house or a town council person's house, then all of a sudden that town council person or that mayor is worried about their safety, about their own personal safety, which is weird because these are such peaceful protests. Anyway, uh, the mayor of Chicago, Lightfoot, Lori Lightfoot, I think, the strangest looking woman I have ever seen, has forbidden people to protest peacefully on her block. And I think that's weird. And I think somebody should challenge that. Because last time I checked, there were three prongs that the government had to satisfy in order to have a reasonable time, place, and manner restriction. And that's a... And that's what they're doing is that is a place restriction. You can protest on all of these streets except for this block. It's a place restriction. So in no particular order, it has to be content neutral. Content and viewpoint neutral. Obviously it is because you can't protest for any reason on Lori Lightfoot's block. So that seems like it's adequately resolved has to leave open ample alternative channels for communication. Usually, you have to be able to reach your target audience. Uh, you could protest a block away, so theoretically she's going to see it. You could protest at the city hall, so she's going to see it. Probably satisfied. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and give that one to good old Miss Lightfoot. Probably, probably she's got that one. But then it gets a little sticky because the third prong is that it has to be narrowly tailored to serve a significant government purpose. Significant government purpose. What significant government purpose is it serving? Hmm. She says that she has the right to protect her home. She has the right to protect her home. And that is an interest, but that seems to be a Lori Lightfoot interest to me. I may be a little thick, but that seems like it's a personal interest to me. And I'm just curious as to how she justifies using the power of the government to forbid people from peacefully protesting on her block, how she justifies that as a significant significant not just this isn't rational basis review this this calls for a significant government interest examples of that would be not allowing loud uh protests at night in a residential neighborhood um not allowing not allowing protests near schools why not near schools well you know to not to not distract the chillins from their schoolwork back when we used to be allowed to have schools and have them open. But I have never seen a significant government purpose in protecting a mayor's home from peaceful protests. So that'll be interesting. I hope someone challenges that, just like they challenged uh, de Blasio's painting BLM on the city streets and not allowing Blue Lives Matter or MAGA or whatever the hell they're suing over at this point. So anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day.